everywhere but nowhere, baby. That's where you're at. Going down a bumpy hillside in your hippie hat. Flying across the country and getting fat. Saying everything is groovy when your tires are flat. Happy Christmas, it's Christmas song time again. Um, last time I did Christmas songs, I did all finger styly ones, so I thought this time I would do some kind of strummy, singy alongy type ones. Um, and this one's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not playing it exactly the same way that Jeff Beck did, because he's doing different, kind of a bit more complicated guitar voicings, and, uh, but I think this is kind of a sing-along kind of a tune, so I'm just gonna give it to you really straight. So the chords for this one are pretty simple. They're all basic open chords. Um, we, I'll take you through the chords first and then I'll show you the little kind of strumming, that kind of rhythmic muted strumming idea that I'm using there for the verses. Um, if you use that kind of strumming for the verses and then a, a, a big normal strumming for the choruses, it kind of develops the sing-along kind of thing. Um, so let me take you through the chords. Um, we're going, starting off on our D chord for the little intro. Then we've got a D. We're everywhere but nowhere, baby. To a G, that's where you're at. C down a bumpy G side. D in your hippie A. D across the country. G and getting fat. C everything is G chord. D when your tires are A. But we're doing that different strumming, which I'll show you in a sec. In the chorus, very straightforward again. And it's D going to D7, G everywhere you A now, G, A, D, I see your D7 is shining, G, but I will make a A, G, though it's obvious, etc. So the chords are pretty straightforward. Um, if you have a listen to the tune or you know the tune already, you'll probably be uh, aware of how long you should be strumming on each one. Um, I suppose I could take you through it though actually because it's only going to be a short lesson anyway so we're going to have the, the D um, one, two, three, four because of course you could actually strum the whole thing if you're not comfortable with this muted strumming thing I'm going to show you you could use any strumming pattern that you like really on this tune so um, let's do it just a nice easy down, down, up, up, down thing so really simple straightforward tune this one so you can either do this uh, muted strumming for the verses which I'm about to show you now in a little close-up um, or you could just strum the whole tune with normal strumming um, like I said I'm just then I demonstrated it using a down down up up down or a one two and three and four one two and three and four which is not a bad strumming pattern to use for the chorus but you can you know you can experiment with that it doesn't it doesn't we're not learning the specific version of the record, so you can kind of make it up a bit if you like. Um, so let's just go to a quick close-up and I'll show you that uh, little muted strumming thing. The important thing to realise here is that we're using this outside part of our hand here to touch on all of the strings. So it's laying right across the whole lot. And I'm leaving it on there, slightly lifting it up, strumming, and then putting it back down again. So it's worth practising going... Just get used to the idea of lifting it, strum, 
and it goes back on. I'm doing it in super slow motion. You don't want to pick the strings out individually like that. It's one movement. Everywhere and nowhere, baby. So it's really just a movement and then straight back down with the palm of the hand resting on the strings and you just do it like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I've just shown you a really nice, easy, open chord version. If you want, you could of course use bar chords for this tune, um, which is Jeff Beck on the original recording is using bar chords and triad shapes um, up and moving it around the neck to create nice chord voicings. Now that you know what the chords are, if you've done a little bit of homework and you've done my lessons on triads, it might be a good exercise for you to try and work out which way he's playing each of the chords. Um, it's, a, it's quite interesting, so you can have a little bit of a go at that one yourself. Um, the uh, chords and words are on the website. Uh, I'm hoping you'll enjoy it. Have yourselves a lovely and safe Christmas and New Year. Don't drink and drive, it's really stupid. Um, and have yourself a really, really cracking time, and I look forward to uh, giving you some more lessons in 2010. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.